Hey guys, well here in Illinois we've had some of the craziest weather that we've ever had. Uh, we went from 20 below zero wind chill to 60 degrees outside within about four days. So it's been kind of crazy. Um, I have gotten a lot of work done on the camper. I've been working really hard while we've had the nice days. We had about three days at, at around 50 to 60 degrees. So I've got a lot done. I haven't done a lot of recording, but I'm gonna go out and show you now all the stuff that I got done so you can kind of get an idea of what I've managed to get accomplished. Um, I'm pretty happy with what's happened. I went through some stuff uh, that I didn't want to go through, but then it paid out in the long run. So let's go take a look at what we've got. Today I'm primarily going to be working on the countertop. So here's my countertop that I purchased. I'm going to be cutting that, putting some trim around the side to keep things from falling off the countertop. I'm going to route the bottom so it's nice and smooth and then I'm going to install it onto the cabinets here. So I'll be back in a little while to show you what I've got done. Okay so I got the countertop made. I just took the piece of 1x16 and I cut it out to shape. I actually cut this notch in over here so that it would go into the door area give me a little bigger countertop there. I routed off the bottom so that it had a nice smooth round edge and then I put this uh, three quarter quarter round as you see here around the edge and now I've put one coat of stain on it luckily we had a nice warm day today so I'm able to stain this probably going to be at least two coats maybe three coats of stain that it's going to need I used a polyurethane stain for this because it's going to be a countertop, it's probably going to have liquid, it's probably going to get spilled on there and everything, so this should help. The, the, the quarter round I put on here, I put it on here as a lip, so that when we're driving around things don't roll off the counter. So it's got like a three quarter inch lip that sticks up just to kind of keep things on the counter when we're driving. I have dry fit it and it does fit into the camper right on top of the cabinets, so um, I'll come back when I've got it done stained and I've got it in there so you can see what it looks like. You can see that the counter turned out really nice. It still needs to cure for about 24 hours, but it's really nice. And now we can start putting some of our uh, kitchen things on there, like our microwave and stuff like that. So there you go. You look up there, there's a big hole where the radio used to be. I dismantled the headliner and I ran a cord from my new backup camera all the way up there to where the backup monitor is going to be. I decided to go with a rear view mirror monitor because I wanted to be able to do turn by turn navigation at the same time that I'm do look being able to see behind me while I'm driving so uh, I went with a separate monitor that's in the rear view mirror. The interesting thing is this transit connect did not come with a rear view mirror at all so I'm just going to put one to replace it that has a monitor in it. I ran the wires up along the side here And I installed the new camera right there. The actual camera was built to actually be installed right here. The problem was it gave me way too much uh, picture of the ground and not enough picture out. And I want this to actually be a driving camera so that it's like I'm looking in the rear view mirror because this thing has no windows in it. So I actually mounted it here with a straight out view and it's a lot better and I think I'm going to be much happier with that. I did get the Fantastic Fan installed and I did get my first uh, coat of lap sealant on there. Um, I put a non-sag lap sealant on there for the first coat and then I'm going to put a coat of self-leveling lap sealant on top of that. Uh, so I can make sure that I don't have any leaks around the Fantastic Fan, but it's looking pretty good. And so that is almost complete. You can see the Fantastic Fan from the inside. It looks really good. I finished up the ceiling up there and also finished up the trim in the corners. So it is all trimmed out now and looking pretty good. Hello everybody. Well, today I've lost my ever-loving mind. So I started fretting about all the wasted space that was under the end of the um, cabinets. Uh, up by the driver's seats um, so I decided to yank everything out of the camper everything I've done I've undone and now I'm stripping out the bottom where there's just a bunch of wasted space and I'm hoping to put something in there like storage or a you know place for some water tanks or something so I actually took a day and ripped everything out of the camper and took out all of the styrofoam and everything that was plugging up this location well here's some of the parts I took out of the van 
Uh, of course, there's the bed, but there's some of the metal parts that I took out of the van. There's a lot of weight there, too, that I eliminated. Um, there's uh, what I've undone. Everything's kind of yanked out. You can see that we've got tons of storage underneath the floorboards here. Um, this is, goes all the way across. You can see how much space that is wasted under here. That's at least probably about uh, 10 inches deep and probably a good uh, 15, 20 inches wide. And I'm gonna be able to store all my long items under here. All the long items that I was gonna store under the bed, I'm gonna store under here now. And so I'll be able to store lawn chairs and fishing poles and all that kind of stuff, plus all kinds of other stuff like extension cords and, and, all that, and hoses and stuff like that. So this is gonna add a whole lot of storage to the van. There's a little piece of thing hanging down here, but you can see if I get in there really good, there's just a ton of usable storage under here. It's really weird because on the internet, I couldn't find anything that told about this area down here. I looked for pictures, schematics of the van and everything, but I was convinced that there was just a open area down here. So when I took the stuff out and I took the floorboard up, sure enough, this was a big storage area under here. And this is going to turn out really nice for us. So having this storage area is now going to open up the underneath the bed so that I don't have to store stuff there. So now we are going to put a 10 gallon water tank right here underneath the bed. I also moved the electrical so that it had room for the water tank. The water tank will sit right here and then all the plumbing will run down and underneath here to the other side where we'll have a sink. So speaking of the sink, I purchased a small bar sink for the camper. It's kind of hard. I'm in the camper, so it's kind of hard to get a full view of it, but it fit perfectly in the counter. And so I've got, we've got now got the microwave, the sink, our cook stove, and some extra counter space here where we're going to put a coffee maker. But this sink is going to work out just fine for us. So here's the sink from this side. And the nice thing, as you can see, is that the plumbing is right there, fully exposed. And we're going to be able to just drop down with our plumbing lines right to this open area on the other side and then run our plumbing right up through there to the other side. On this sink we're going to have one of these will be hooked up to the water tank. It's going to be cold water only but one will be hooked up to the water tank and the other one we can hook to a hose and if we're at a campground that has water that we can hook up to continually we'll be able to hook that up and have water come through there. I am going to have to figure out what to do about the drain and where to put the hose line for this but I'm still thinking about that. This Transit Connect cargo van did not come with a rear view mirror so I was able to purchase a rear view mirror and install it. There you guys can see it right there. Uh, it was very easy to install just glued right to the windshield but this is not actually a mirror it is actually a video monitor that goes to the backup camera so now when I drive the camper it's like I'm looking in the rear view mirror and I can see everything behind me. It's really, really nice. So that's it. That's what I've got done so far. I'll keep you guys posted as I add more stuff to the camper. I've got some more projects that I need to complete. And as I go through there, I will uh, update you with what I've got done so you guys can see what's going on. But until I see you guys again, happy camping.